Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the philosophy of artificial intelligence. Some of the questions that the philosophy of artificial intelligence tries to answer is A. Can a machine solve any kind of problem only by thinking? B. Can a machine have a mind, same as the humans do? And C. Is the human's intelligence same as the machine's one? Some researchers, philosophers and scientists try to find answers. But what is really intelligence and how do we define it? So, let's answer these three questions. It's possible to create a machine that simulates the human's brain. But how will the machines behave? Another question that comes up is, will the machine think or act like it's thinking? Arguments in favor of the basic premise must show that such a system is possible. One great computer scientist named Alan Turing suggested that if a machine can answer any question put to it using the same words that an ordinary person would, then uh, we call that, that machine intelligence. This experiment took place in an online chat room. In one room there were a real human and in the other one there was a computer. If people could understand in which of these two rooms is the computer, then this program is failed. Now I'm going to continue with the second question and I'll try to answer it. Can a machine have a mind? The brain can, can be simulated, Hubbard Davis stated. He said that if the nervous system obeys to the laws of physics and chemistry, which we have every reason to support it does, then we ought to be able to reproduce the behavior of the nervous system with some physical device. Also, Ray Kuzbill estimates that by the year 2029, the computer power will be sufficient for complete brain simulations. Now, I'm going to try to answer the third question. Is the machine intelligence same as a human's one? Many arguments have been stated, but no one can answer this question, for sure because the future of computer science is unknown.